Hello and welcome to the Avionline video guide to the Denon AVR4308. We're going to talk you through some of the features of this unit, its connections and its on-screen menus. The Denon AVR4308 is at the higher end of the new range of Denon AV receivers. It's 130 watts per channel amplifier. It is uh, rated for the new sound format, it's Dolby True HD and DTS HD, which is superior to their previous sound formats, it's actually lossless. Um, this is a well spec unit for networking with uh, Ethernet and Wi-Fi available, so just to wirelessly integrate it into your home. So you zoom into the front there, you've just got the volume control on the right hand side and there's the uh, source select on the left there, power button just down at the bottom. And so you're just taking you under the metal flap at the front of the unit there. You've got the headphone out there on the left hand side just under the flap. And as you take you in there, just underneath that LCD screen, you see it's mostly uh, menu and setup buttons for the most part there. And so it's the middle integrated channel select one as a sort of pure direct mode for the, for the best audio quality that you can get. So it turns off everything that it doesn't need and there's that USB port and the auxiliary outputs there. The USB port just for connecting up with a uh, USB flash drive just to play back some MP3s or maybe view some pictures. Taking to the back of the panel now, you just see at the top left hand corner there is the four HDMI inputs. PlayStation 3 or Sky HD or maybe an Xbox 360 Elite model um, or maybe a Blu-ray player and then on just next to those you can see there's the two HDMI outputs, the dual outs, just the simultaneous output there so if you want to go to a projector and a plasma you can see that. and then you've just got the standard composite and S-video inputs below that with the component ones next to that for maybe hooking up a, a DVD recorder or an Xbox 360 Premium. Just below those you've got the uh, multi-channel inputs and then the pre-outs, uh, subwoofer ones there, and then there's the phono input with the ground. Just to the right hand side of that, you can see there's the input the, for the DAB tuner. Uh, it's quite a new, new feature on AV amplifiers, just to include those DAB tuners there. And then uh, you've got the speaker terminals here. Just for those. I'm just going to show you now how to set your amp up for banana plugs. You see those little black bungs in the back of the unit there. What you need to do is just, as you can see there, just take a small screw just to take those bungs out of the back. Just need to just screw those in and take them out. And just take your standard 4mm banana plug. It's used on most cables just to prevent cable degradation now on the, uh, from bare wiring. And you can just plug those in. That should give you a nice superior sound. Okay, now we're going to take you under the lid of the AVR4308. Going underneath the lid of the AVR4306, and there we go. And uh, just to the left hand side, there you can see the main power transformer for the unit. And I'm just, just taking you in there, and there's actually a smaller one just at the front, which you can just see with the, the uh, red sort of tape sort of style coming out of the sides, just in front of the main one. And just to the right of that, across the middle of the, of the front, you've got the very large heat sink, which has got the Amp boards attached to it. It's that large black piece of metal going across. Let me just take you down now. As the, you can see, there are the two main capacitors, the amplifier, just in front of the seven amplifier boards, uh, and then there's the the Wi-Fi module just there for the for as a wireless integration into your home network, just in case you wanted to stream some audio across. Uh, and then there's the uh, all-important video board with those HDMI inputs and the two outputs, the simultaneous output. There for t to two different devices. So you see, there's the video chip. Taking to the menus now. This you see the uh, vastly improved graphical user interface for this. And most menus do seem to be a bit sort of uh, plain. But you see, Denon have really gone to town on this and trying to make that as pleasing to the eye as possible. You've got the speaker configuration there. We can just change the type of speaker and then there's the subwoofer ones. And just change whether you want it to imperial. Or metric measurements there, and sort of different frequencies for crossover for setting up your subwoofer really, um, and the different sort of different speaker settings. Taking down to the HDMI settings, you've got quite a few settings here. There's little different colour stylings and range of RGB, and also lip sync just in case you're having any problems with that. Um, whether the, where the audio is going to, and then, yeah, whether the uh, output is going to be dual or just just the one of them. Taking down to the audio setup. Down channel input, and there's the down mix options, which we'll see in a minute. 
difference. It's a different two channel because it will work as a stereo amplifier as well as a slam down. Down mix option is whether you want to use compression or not. Let's see what else we've got. It's the auto surround and then manual equaliser settings for different tonal qualities for the different speakers, which you can either do or not. And then there's the network setup. So this is quite well specced for uh, network. This is useful for so, internet radio or streaming audio across your network. Uh, just a few different settings for that. Just information on your network. MAC address is actually on the back of the amplifier as well, just in case you need to access that quickly. And then there's the zone setup, so there's three capable zones on this amplifier, and a different sort of setup for each one, adjusting the levels and such like. And the main option setup, and so on, and then the volume control if you wanted to limit it or set it on mute. Different, uh, you can just delete the source from there actually. And then there's the graphical user interface setup there. So, as you can see, this is a vastly improved uh, setup menu um, from the old style, just plain white text, which didn't look too pleasing to the eye for most people. But you can see this one's a lot better in different sort of settings here, whether you say your network settings, and the seamless integration for your iPod. There is a, a wireless iPod dock available for this and a wired one, uh, just in case you know just in case you didn't want to go down the route of wireless. And then uh, different triggers for controlling other equipment's power. And then there's the two-way remote control, it's the uh, Denon RC7000, uh, which is a programmable uh, LCD screen remote control, which is another possible upgrade for the amplifier if you so wanted to. And firmware update, this will actually update the firmware of the unit over the internet. So you need to hook it, you know, hook it again over Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and then you can actually update the amplifier that fires firmware that way. Into the status menu now, so you can just see that. And it's the main zone and the other zones available. And some HDMI information, which output it's using, such like. It's out of the information menu, just into the source select menu where you can go into your Assigning, so if you want to assign DVD to HDMI or components, and you know, uh, with, if you would say if you were doing a component which uh, audio you wanted to go with that, so say optical or coaxial onto there as well, and perhaps even just a standard uh, analog signal into that. Um, so in HDB is the one we just got selected at the moment. Back out, and then the different surround modes Dolby or DTS, or one of their standard. Ones and then you can go into the parameters, change the settings on the audio there, whether you want to put the tone defeat on. And the, there again, then there's another sort of equalizer there for the room, and there's some more delay functions there just in case you live, your video and audio isn't syncing up properly together. And then picture dust through your amplifier as well. The auto setup because it's Amps available for auto setup. You just take the the auto setup with the little jacks on the front of the unit there, and you just plot your mic where your listening position is, and the amp will calibrate your speakers to that. Just make life, make life just that little bit easier for you. For you. And then back out. So I'm just taking through the uh, networking options now. Just through the uh, just take you through the internet radio here. Just take you onto that, and you can see whether you want to go into see there you all the different ways you can scroll through this. Um, so you've got the different sort of genres, you can scroll by country just in case you want you know maybe you want to listen to some Russian radio or Argentinian radio. Uh, and so you can, you can do podcasts again by genre or location. You can see there's a Virgin Islands and some Uruguayan podcast if you so wanted and obviously the UK because that's where we're based. Uh, and then you can just there's a lot of different podcasts there so you can just do it by page just with a quick flick of the remote and that makes life obviously a lot easier just to skip through and find what it was you're looking for. Um, there's different things there, so we decided just, maybe we just go to the, the Russell Brands podcast on Radio 2. So, so you just scroll down there, take it on, and then I'll just flick through and start playing onto that. It's very quick to start streaming, as you'll see. Uh, and it's actually, it will show you, display, display a picture of what you're listening to as well. So it's, that's quite good. And that, that percentage there is just how long it's taking to buffer. So that's just playing through now. Take you back, and then we can actually. This is just streaming across the network here. 
playing through and you see the different track names on the album and again just display the uh, album cover there for you. Okay thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video guide to the AVR4308. If you'd like some more information on this product or to watch some more video reviews they are on our website www.avland.co.uk. Thanks very much.